Hey, this is Daryl Pillsbury along with my cameraman Joe. Joe, say hi to the camera. Hi, Joe. Okay, move the camera. Up. Hey, here we are again, right here, beautiful Brattleboro, Vermont, Harris Hill. As you can see behind us, it's that time of the year again. Harris Hill is happening. The weather's beautiful. We're in the food court area right here. There's plenty of food to have. It's, uh, it's really a good event. We've got a beautiful day in the 40s. As you can see behind us, they're already jumping. And first off, me and Joe would like to thank everybody who had anything to do with putting this together. We know the hard work and all the dedication that was involved, so we thank you very much for all your hard work to making this happen. This is a huge event for this area, in my opinion, and uh, I'm just glad to see it go off as smoothly as it did. So I don't want to start mentioning names because you always forget somebody or somebody's feelings, but thank you all to all of you who are running this uh, air sale this year. It's been a great event so far. So, Joe's got plenty of footage. We'll be showing you throughout the uh, show. And follow us. We'll do a few interviews with some of the jumpers. And we hope you enjoy the show. So, uh, enjoy and uh, let them jump. Uh, cool part, Joe. I might have to do it now. How much noise can you make? That is the question. He really nailed that one. That's a great jump. He has been jumping well all weekend. 84 meters for Spencer. I give it up for him again. You don't have to give it up. Okay, here we are uh, inside the Morningside Shelter Tent with uh, the director who is? Paul Kapkara. And Paul, um, how long have you been the director now with Morningside? I've been at Morningside about four and a half years now, Daryl. Man, it goes quick, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it really, really goes Time quick. flies when you're having fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you're doing a heck of a job over there. Um, listen, first thing is, uh, what do you think of this event? Wow, this is really a phenomenal community event. We've been coming out the last three years here, um, and we have a booth where we sell hot chocolate and chili and cookies. Uh, we're supported by the Brattleboro Retreat, who gives us uh, the donates all of the materials, and we use it as a big fundraiser for us every year. And uh, from what I see, you're, you're doing a pretty good job so far. I mean, last yesterday alone, you raised how much? You raised just yesterday? Uh, yesterday we raised a little over a thousand dollars. So uh, things are going great, and uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to be out here at this great event in the community. Well, I think it's great to have a presence here for you guys to let everybody kind of makes them aware. I mean, most people who live in Brattleboro know about the Morningside Shelter and the hard work that you all do and what, what benefit we get from this uh, this establishment. So uh, I think it's great. But I think part of it is just being here, Morningside Shelter, people can stop in, donate, help you out. It's yeah. Out good. Yeah, it's a fantastic chance for us to see our donors and our supporters, too. We get so much support from this community, and it's great to just be out here on a beautiful day and seeing some of our friends and supporters and being able to thank them for all they do for us. And and, uh, well, we just had a good jump, as I'm sure everybody heard the, uh, you know, the big uh, hooray. Uh, I see Biz Dana's out there. She's working hard, bringing people in this way. Um, she's one of the members of the board of directors. Yes, Biz is our board president, and we have uh, two other board members here, Carla Fantini and Dave Altstadt, um, out here working hard, and then several of our staff. And we all volunteer to try to make this event a big success for Morningside. And now, uh, since we're on the board members, do you still have openings for, are you still trying to find some uh, new board members? Yeah. We're we're always looking for board members, uh, so if anybody has any interest, they can just give us a call at the shelter, 257-0066, and we can get them some more information. And I would suggest to do that, folks. If you got a little time, uh, you know, be part of the community, step up, help out. Uh, every little bit we all do helps out tremendously for a lot of people that rely on the services that we provide, and this is a great community. So, well, Paul, thanks an awful lot for being out here. A lot warmer this year, too, so that's been kind of nice. Yeah, thank you so much, and uh, we appreciate Appreciate the opportunity to be out here. All right, take care. Hey, uh, we're hanging out here with uh, Ray. Ray, uh, what do you think of this event, man? It's pretty nice. I'm glad it's back. It took a couple years off rebuilding it, but it's really nice to have people out here and enjoying it again. 
Yep. Well, and uh, this is, uh, of course, doesn't look it because there's no snow and they had to put a lot of money into making this thing happen. How are we doing uh, with uh, your little hill over there at Memorial Park? It's a struggle this year. Uh, it's been a battle. We'll make snow, we'll get rained out, it'll get warm. Uh, we've had problems. Our pump, the water intake, conked out. We had to throw some money into that. Then we had a motor to the snow making pump go and we're probably going to spend thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars on that so that's a bunch of money and we're we're trying to make the best of it and we like to have people to keep coming out and skiing and snowboarding but yeah. it's been a good time when we get the snow yeah. uh yeah it would be nice to get a little bit now listen if somebody wanted to kind of help out all right, because to me that is, I, and I'm glad you've been doing this an awful long time with that hill, oh, yeah. and that's one of my things that I just I love that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, back during the legislative I, time, I, yeah, I got to help a few times. I try yeah. to give a little bit of a donation when I can. Yeah. But uh, how would somebody donate if they if they wanted to? They could send a check to Living Memorial Park Snow Sports. Um, the address is PO Box 1945, Brattle Road, Vermont 05302. And any amount would be great. Yeah. And, and it'd be tax deductible. Yep, it's, it's a 501c tax deductible, so yep. that would be a good thing. All right. Thanks an awful lot, Ray, man. And we'll see you around. Appreciate it. Take care. We look around first, we find out where the heck the good food is, and then we come in and we say, we're going to put you on. Where are you all from, though? Oh, you're Vermonters. Grafton, Vermont. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you where you're from, and I don't care if it's dried out either. Hey, Joe, are we good? Okay. So, well, since you're the one coming out here offering me the hot dog, I'm going to talk to you first. All right. First name, where are you from? Steve Fisher, Grafton, Vermont. All right, very good. Did you see that? Did you notice the one mistake he made? Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I don't really care if you give your last all right. name. I just want to say good job, though, Steve. That's all right, Steve. So what brought you guys out here? That was a ski jump. <laughs> uh, well, that part I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a nice yeah. day. Have you been before? Yes. yes. Oh, so this is something you guys come out um, I haven't been for a while, but our friends actually came down last year. So, a little different than last year. Yeah, a little bit different. I mean, man, it was yeah. freezing out here. Were you guys out here? Were you doing the same thing last year? Because somebody did a big turkey last year. That was awesome. No, I don't think you're tailgating. No. Were you last year? No, no tailgating. I think this is the way to do it, though. This tailgating thing's pretty good. Oh, except you got to be able to move through the mud. Okay, first name. Where are you from? Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I'm Melissa, and I'm from. Grafton. Is she, is she new to the area? So she's not really quite sure what we call all these little towns up here? No, you're a Vermonter. Okay, yeah, Westminster. How's it going? I'm Theron. I'm from Grafton, too. Yeah. Boy, we got the Grafton crew. I'll tell you one thing. Grafton is well known for the cheese. I'll tell you, they were right over there. Are they there again today? And I'll tell you, they do have some killer cheese. You are? I'm Gail Ann, and I'm from Grafton. All right. Grafton is well represented today. I'm going to lose a shoe. Now you're going to lose Grafton. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's all right. We liked all of the whole state. That's right. Sean Long, Westminster. There you go. There you go. I know, Sean. Well, he was following the leader. He followed the leader. So listen, hey, what do you think of the event? You guys got a great spot, number one. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome event. Well done. Tough winter to do this in, but yeah, you did well with the snow. Money this year, we're here, and it's going to be a tough one for us. But yeah. hey, you know, you do what you can do. There's about twenty thousand dollars in diesel just to make the snow. Make the snow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know, a big event like this, we had to have it happen. You are Carol, Chester, Vermont. All right. Well, we're. Would you see Vermont is well represented out here, even from up north a little bit. Wow, you guys really came prepared. <laughs> What's in the cooler? What do, what do we have here? What's in the cooler? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's several coolers in there, and you are? Kelly from Chester. Okay, and what do you think about this event, Kelly? This is awesome. Yeah, uh, we have a blast. Mm -hmm. yeah, we come every year. Every year? Good. That's the way, man. We're really happy that you're doing that. Support this thing. I think it's great. It's in my backyard. I actually work for the Wyndham Foundation, which is proud owners of the Grafton Village Cheese. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, well, good for you guys. Thanks for coming down this way, too, because I think that's one heck of a little store we got right there. I send a lot of people to there that want Vermont products. It's well. Um, the displays are really nice. I mean, the whole it's a nice store, really. Yeah, it is. Di Bernardo took over and it's kind of really spiced it up. It's really awesome now. Good job, man. Good job.
You are? Hi, I'm Chrissy from Westminster. Okay, well, what do you think, Chrissy? Are you, is this your first time here, or you've no, been here now? It's not. I've, You're a regular too. I wouldn't say regular, but I've definitely been before. It's great. It's yeah, a yeah. beautiful day. And, and were you here last year? I was. It was so very, very cold. A lot different this year. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? It's yeah. so nice to be. Uh, we almost could have wore shorts or something. Yeah, I'm not that kind of Vermonter, yeah. but. <laughs> Thanks a lot for talking to us. These guys really knew what they were doing. Now, see, this is this means you're this isn't your first time. Oh no. Okay. No, thanks so, for Craig here to bring the hay and no, we've been through this mud before. Great spot. Yeah. Yeah, and the drinkers are hiding behind the uh, yeah. yeah, with their cups of water. <laughs> I like that water you got over there. See, you know, I do this. I get offered food a lot, but nobody ever offers me a beer or nothing. You know, I don't drink anyway, so I would. But you, know. you are Craig Young. And Craig, are you the charge of the food here? Uh, yeah. But I guess. That one? Uh, not at the moment. You want a hot dog, though? Well, we've been offered a lot of hot dogs, but actually, we've eaten. Hot dogs. They were already in there, man. I haven't seen you in a long time, Nick. No, this is di and you guys really. This is a like a premier spot. Yeah, they had us park over there, but when they weren't looking, we snuck up. Oh, there, that's what you it? do, though. You never do what they tell you. You know, I mean, come on. What does a parking person know? <laughs> and you two, what? <laughs> Joe, can you get the two? Can you get in between the trucks? Huh? I want to just come over here and see what we're drinking. If it's Coca-Cola, oh, it is hot chocolate. Oh no, it's real. Gatorade. And Gatorade. Oh, the Gatorade really has a smell to it. It does. Yeah, uh, one of them type of things. Hey, are you still running, Joe? No. Are you running? Uh, okay, good. Hey, Mickey, let me come over here and say hey to the mixture. Haven't seen you in a long time. What's going on? What do you got over here? Let me see. Grape juice. I'm just going to smell it. Yep. Yeah, grape, grape juice. juice for you. That's good. You got a bad throat going on? Some of that there, Grafton cheese. Where's by Jesus? My God, I'm going to get behind you here and I'm going to just have me a little sample in of that Grafton cheese. It is good stuff though. They got a ton of it over there too, but you know, what the hell. It is good. If you enjoy your hair soap and the beer, you should uh, next time you're on Main Street in downtown Brown Road, check out the window and Zephyr Design. All kinds of really cool pictures of Waste it. Okay. Hey, Wyatt, have you watched the ski jumpers go? No. No? How come? Will Grandpa put you on his shoulder? I don't know. No? Do you know what you're supposed to do with the with the cowbell? Ring it. And when do you ring it? When, when the ski jumpers come down. When the ski jumpers come down? Wow, how old are you, Wyatt? Five. Five years old? Mm -hmm. Wow, and who took you here? Um, everybody that you see right here. Oh, everybody we see right here took you here? And set the cameraman. And what? And set the cameraman. Oh, you know, except for the cameraman. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, of course. Come here. Come here. You hold the mic. Hold the microphone. Okay. And what do you want to say? Look right up at the TV and talk. It's your show. I don't know. Well, you wanted to talk. Well, tell them, tell them how nice it is out here. Tell, ask people to show up. Um, tell people it's very nice out here and you'd like them to come down next year. And it's really nice out here. Okay. I said it. How's yeah. the weather, buddy? It's good. Right. Well, listen, tell everybody goodbye, okay? Bye. Oh, no, wait. Wait, wait. I know what I got to get you to say. Come here. Now, this is going to be kind of tough, okay? But I think you can do it. Hold the, hold the thing. Look straight at that camera, even though the sun's kind of in your way, and say, watch the pulse of Brattleboro. Okay. Watch the pulse of Brattleboro. Say that. Wolf, watch the pulse of Brattleboro. That's right. Alexander, Mike Plasner, Sigrid Sober. Yeah. yeah, I like the four-year thing. I do too. That's just the yeah, one that pops my ears. No, <laughs> so many people say that. It's like, get some All right, we are with Chuck Cummings, a uh, long-time uh, Brattleboro resident and a long-time uh, visitor to the ski jump. Right, Chuck? How the hell? Yes, I've made almost all of them. I used to be up working in the hill in the judge's stand, not as a judge, but as the runner and the computer. That's before we had 
full computers. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think about this event? I mean, this does mean a lot, I think, to the town. I, I think it's a beautiful thing we got here. Well, it's the first time I think we've had a national here. Yeah. Uh, and th th this is something that uh, we will have a hard time duplicating. It's too bad that we didn't get more snow uh, and that it is more of a winter feeling, but still, it's a good crowd. Yeah. Yeah, it is, and I think the volunteers, everybody did such a good job making sure this happened that my hat is off to them all, and we want to make sure we say thank you to all of them. Hey, we couldn't do it without them. It's purely a volunteer operation. Yeah. Right from the gut go, it's, uh, it's all volunteers that are, are responsible and for it. They've been doing that forever, so thank you, everybody, and thanks for making this such a good Brattleboro tradition. Well, thanks to Harris Hill, it will continue to be. Thanks a lot, Chuck. Take care. Okay, we are standing with one of the people that's probably in this place that actually retired the wing trophy. You, uh, when was that done last for you? 1974. Oh, the year I graduated from high school. Seems like seems like yesterday. Does it really? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> you know, I was telling you when I first started, when we come in here and we start talking to people, it blows me away how many of you guys jump. Ah, uh, there's a lot of jumpers here today. Were, were you guys all like? I mean, it must have been a heck of a camaraderie there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there wasn't hockey and uh, all the crazy uh, jumping sports with the the extreme skiing. So there was a lot of us that competed together. And did you travel together? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, and when, when you guys would travel, I mean, was it like the Brattleboro crew against everybody else? Well, a lot of times. A lot of times, but it, it evolved into... Uh, uh, you'd have the college meets on Saturday and then the Easter meets on Sunday. Yeah. So it, it, it was just a lot of good times. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a great event for Brattleboro, yeah. too. I, 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 do you still, I mean, when you come here, does it bring back memories for yeah, you? Yeah, it brings back memories, and, and I used to want to jump again, but no longer. And now yeah. I just I get, I get excited, but I don't want to jump. You wouldn't <laughs> want to go down the new hill? No way, no way. <laughs> oh, Darryl. Well, Hugh, I mean, it must have made you real proud to do it right here in front of the hometown people, too. Yeah, that was, I was fortunate. Yeah, well, very good. I'll let you enjoy the show. <laughs> Five dollars a piece or three for ten dollars. Again, that's brought to you by. Five more skills in this first round, and Christian Freeberg is headed out onto the bar. Well, as soon as it makes my back of my ear go, I know I got my fix. So I'm stopping. Hey, we want to interview you. Okay. You don't mind. No, I'm Dane. The guy, Dane. 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 Like Great Dane. Yeah. 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 Well, you are the Great Dane. <laughs> ah, you're the Great Dane making the Grafton cheese. <laughs> okay. You we on, Joe? We are with? Dane Hebner. And Dane, you, uh, you're with Grafton Cheese, and you are the cheese maker. Are you like the master cheese maker? Or is there a I am I'm the director of R&D and quality, also known as the cheese artisan. Um, that's the romantic title. <laughs> head cheese, head cheese. I have a head cheese maker. That's, diff that's a different position. I'm more um, the overseer, if you will. So let's just, just for, I mean, uh, we're here at Harris Hill, beautiful day. Awesome. You guys are out here giving out some good Grafton cheese, which in my opinion is some of the best cheese in the world. We have this wonderful flight of raw milk, handmade cheddars, starting at our one year, going two, three, four, and then we have our maple smoke, the most award-winning of our our line, and then uh, garlic and sage, and it's an awesome flight to be able to taste all these at one time and the progression of age, and then the introductory of of, uh, see, not even a word, but the introduction of uh, ingredients that really change the profile. It's really nice. So, uh, as a cheesemaker, what is it? What is it that you're doing, really? I mean, you, you, the age. Pro I mean, how do you? 
kind of bring us through the steps as simply as you can, okay? Our, you do have a heck of a product here. Yeah, and uh, our product differs because we're um, hand making this with milk from 22 local farms. Beautiful. That's raw milk and it hasn't been standardized, meaning it hasn't been manipulated. So things change from load to load and we rely on our uh, the strength of uh, our cheesemakers being intelligence and uh, ingenuity to understand the changes and handcraft the cheese to what we expect to be there. But things change, so we have to, we adapt on the fly and we have to um, be able to make it the best it possibly can be every time. So how does that happen when you say they have to know, you know, they have to be smart and they're handcrafting the cheese? I, see, I still so every the milk, yeah the stuff happening. So we're not standardizing the milk, meaning that we're not gonna filter the milk and uh, well, we filter the milk, but we're not going to uh, centrifuge it and make sure that our fat and our protein is the same every day. Um, and that changes how the cheese is made, depending on farm to farm. That will uh, change. Those, those are those little subtleties that make our cheese different. Yeah. Well, your cheese is different, and like I said, I, I love Grafton cheese. I was very happy when they came down here and put the store up down there because it's a beautiful uh, display of uh, not only the cheese, but a lot of other Vermont products. And yeah, I think it does a, a good lot job. of them. How long have you been doing this? I've been making cheese for nine years. Wow, what got you into it? I, I went to school for microbiology, and... Uh, I grew up in Wisconsin. Wow. Okay. Well, hey, Wisconsin makes good cheese too. I mean, yeah. come on. The only other place I didn't even, to be honest with you, Wisconsin is the only place I thought that made cheese till I got a little older and realized Vermont had some pretty good cheese outlets themselves. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks for taking time yeah. with us, man. Nice being here. And uh, you do a heck of a job. I think the quality of your work speaks for itself. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, standing with what I, I would hope most people would know who I'm with. I am with uh, Tim. Oh, good. I want to know who I was. Yeah, well, you know, with, with, def, with, with WTSA uh, right here in Brattleboro. And, uh, Tim, you've been, you've been broadcasting this event for as long as I can remember and then even longer. In fact, first time I was here as a spectator and I worked a concession stand was 1974. And was that for the 4-H club? Oh, FFA. Or FFA. I knew it probably for oh, yeah. Farmers, Future Farmers of America. Oh, you bet. Because that was one of your big organizations. Well, you know, too bad they didn't have a presence still today here. That would be kind of nice. That would be nice. Um, so you've been doing a lot of these and we were just talking off camera just a minute ago. I can remember when uh, you'd be in the van on the really cold days and you guys would be talking about who was coming down and, uh, and broadcasting. So you've watched a lot of uh, skiers come down this hill. I have and uh, this is really good to see not only Harris Hill come back the way it has but also the uh, uh, institution of the FIS Cup uh, event here in Brattleboro this year. The only one in the USA and the only thing that's missing is a few more fans. Yeah, and I think they were discouraged because they're probably all looking at home going, they can't be having this thing. Uh, and this is really, you know, you come around, it's all bare ground, and then you look at our mountain, and it's beautiful white snow. You know, I did the, the best thing of all. I took the shuttle bus from Brattleboro Retreat because things were a little muddy from my station vehicle, yep. and this made sense, and walked over, and I've, I've had a great day. In fact, I just came back from the uh, benefit booth for Morningside Shelter with cookies and hot chocolate, so I'm ready to go for another run. There you go, Tim. There you go. Hey, uh, listen, thanks for doing what you do here, and um, also, I wanted to give you guys a kudos on the, because uh, this will be be showing on your um, uh, the thing we just did with the candidates forum that you guys are always part of. Oh, thank you. That's been the 41st year the radio station has done this. Yeah, well, that's where I get a lot of because I don't usually go to it, but I always count on you guys to do that, and I just want to say thank you for doing that. Which reminds me, I just got a uh, press release via email. Uh, Bill Morlock is actually pulled out of the race and has asked that people uh, support both uh, Chris Chapman and Dick DeGray in the one-year position. Wow. Oh, that is some. Uh, that's a breaking news story right there. Now, unfortunately, you'll break it before we will. Joe, 5:45. <laughs> 
We are with one of the committee members. You are? I'm Jody Graves. And Jody, you've been doing this an awful long time here. I, I interview you, I think, every year. You're out here volunteering your time. Oh, thank you. You know, this uh, Harris Hill is all about volunteers. And I've been coming here since, oh, I don't know, about 1980. And yeah. I've been on the committee for a long time. And, and uh, it's we all have a, really, a great time. And Well, you have a lot. Of, you got a special bond to the hill, too, because of your son, Willie. He's been jumping off this hill <laughs> since how long? Well, when he was about f five years old, Old or six, he rode the the landing hill because the Brattleboro Junior Jumpers used to always come down the landing hill with a flag. I don't know if you guys yeah, remember yeah, that. Yeah, We'd yeah, have them all up know. at the top boy, of the oh hill boy. and the Squires boys and all, that was all in the of 70s them. Or yeah, 80s there in in the right? 80s. No, this was actually in the 90s. Yeah, um, in oh Willie. God, yeah, in the 90s. Yeah, fast. it's fine. Away. But um, and uh, Willie jumped this hill, I think, for the first time when he was 12, and he's 25 now. Yeah. So well, I've been watching yeah. him jump this thing every yeah. time they they jump. That's right. Yeah. And, and did, how did he do today? I was interviewing now. He wasn't really paying attention. He didn't do that well today. It wasn't uh -oh. such a great day, but you know that uh, they're all having a good time, and it's a really high level of jumpers. And yeah, it's, it really is. Yeah, and these kids all know each other. You know, they they know the the foreign skiers. They've you know met them before, and so we've got some great talent here. Some yeah. really good jumping. Now let's talk about the work, the hard work by a lot of volunteers. Because, I mean, you know, I really love this event. Uh, uh, the first time that it caught my eye, I was in New Mexico in really? the military. I'm a Vermont kid. Yeah. And they were talking about the ski jump uh, for a bad reason. But And I remember <laughs> hearing about it. And then I couldn't wait to get here when I came back home to actually see the ski jumping. And, and then to think I was in Brattleboro. But to get this to happen, um, especially this year, took an awful lot of people and a lot of uh, commitment. It did, it, because of the weather, and so they may, uh, and just today, I think we, this weekend we had a, over 100, maybe 150 volunteers, and um, a lot of people put a lot of time and effort into um, fi putting the snow on the hill, well, uh, but like, yeah, but this, this, new, this hill was all rebuilt about three years ago, right. and uh, they have special grade boards that, so when they put that snow on, they know just the right depth and just how to really? smooth it out evenly, yeah, it's all oh, pretty high so tech. That was even, that was, yeah. so just building the hill was high tech. Yes, it was, it's all really high oh, tech. Well, that's why you yeah. guys do that and I do this, because I got no clue about all that and stuff. What's really cool is that the, you can, the spectators can walk right up to the it's front great. and it can see the tower and so if you did if you're watching this and you didn't come to the event you can still walk in and come see it sometime yeah, yeah. that's why we do what yeah. we do we want to show people this great that's event. right it is unreal uh and um you know i i only get to thank you because you're in front of me right oh, now but all well, of the volunteers unbelievable i am telling you i am so proud of what you all have been able to accomplish thank you i was Darryl. here friday what? And yeah. my car almost got stuck in the mud hole, and I went, "Oh my God, what are you going to do?" And it is really—you can walk through here. You know, they put—they put. They put uh, I think it was about seven loads of wood chips down, and the wood chips work great on the mud, yep. so it really helped a lot just for the And where the did path. wood chips come from? You got any idea? I, n I know quite a lot of the local um, companies donated them. Yep. They had to hit up a bunch of th some of our normal sponsors, but just about anybody with a sawmill was yep. hit up. So if you know somebody that had a sawmill, these wood chips probably came from there. Too. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Jody, yeah. thanks an awful lot um, to you and the committee oh, thank for you, all the hard Darryl. work and, and another successful and to be honest with you, for me, this is one of the best jumps I've come to only because I don't even have gloves on. I'm not, you know, I love it. I know it's not great we for the We do jumpers, too. But this I know. Is Spectating, it's the way to be. And you know, this makes it special for all of us just to see. It's a kind of a family. We're all a big family here yeah. and we see each other. And, yeah. and uh, it's nice. Thanks for interviewing me. My pleasure, yeah. Jody. All righty. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi. How, how's Jumper today? So thanks Good, and I don't know if you were Jumper last year. It's a lot nicer this year, isn't it, Jumper? Yeah, for the cows, it's a lot warmer. The cow's happy. <laughs> well, thanks for doing it, Jumper. We'll see you later. <laughs> But I want to talk about your other stuff too that you're doing the Nordic because that's you know the cross country that's what I did yeah, yeah. and I was good at it okay. not as good as you are oh you don't believe me no, I like I the way you just said that <laughs> I like the way you just said okay you say so <laughs> 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 didn't that what he just did <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay, we are with Spencer Knickerbocker. Spencer, how's it been since the last time we talked to you? Uh, pretty good. Uh, just been jumping and training quite a bit and uh, doing the cross country thing too. So uh, it's been going well. Well, that's what I kind of wanted to talk to you about. You're looking older too, by the way. I, you know, yeah. uh, the cross country thing now. How's that? Did you do that in high school? Yeah, I uh, skied for the high school team for I the two years I was there. So you did have a little bit of background in that. Uh, yeah. Well, I've been cross country skiing as long as I've been jumping. So it's oh, been uh, so it's nine. Nine years or ten years, so yeah. yep. So how's it now? So now you're doing. The, it's called what is it? Nordic Combined. Yep, Nordic Combined. Yeah, okay. and okay. I've uh, been training uh, on the U.S. development team uh, out in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, all year. Um, and what comes next? Well, on Tuesday I'm heading back to Park City, Utah, for a week and a half of training. Then I'm going to Finland for two weeks for uh, some international racing and jumping. How's your finish? Huh? How's your finish? I don't know too much finish yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll come back a little bit. <laughs> well, good luck to you. I think it's great. It's nice to be able to follow somebody who I watch grow up and stuff too. Yeah. It's kind of neat to see you come back and do it. And the last jump when you came down, I watched you. You, you had your fist in the air, so you were happy with it. And eh, judges might have, you know, skimped on you a little bit, but eh, you felt good about it anyway. Yeah, it was a okay way to end the weekend. So yeah, it's slow today though. Yeah, it's been difficult conditions, but uh, the crew did the best job they could, and they put together a great weekend. Yeah. So, Well, Spencer, I'm going to let you go, and thanks again for talking to us, okay? Yeah, Take you. care, man. Good luck to you. We are with Sandy Harris, and that name should be familiar, folks. Uh, there's a reason why this name, the hill, is called the Fred Harris Memorial Hill. I guess we call it now. What do we call the whole thing? It's still called the Harris Hill Ski Jump. Yeah, and uh, um, this tournament is the Fred Harris Memorial Tournament. That's right. Also, the FIS tournament this, this year. year. Which yes. Is very, very. Oh, it's really exciting to have seven countries represented here. Oh, good. Yeah. Seven countries. It was the first FIS competition in the United States, ever. Yeah, I know, and that's unbelievable. What does that stand for? Um, Inter International Federation of Skiing. Or Very good. Federation of International Skiing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and listen, you've, uh, well, of course, this means something to you. You've been coming here a long time. What did you think of today's uh, event? I mean, what a job the volunteers did with no snow on the ground. Well, there's an amazing number of volunteers. And if you had been here Friday and I seen was. a foot of mud, I awful. drove in and my car was like sliding around. And I thought, we won't even get any spectators in here this year. And of course, we lost Friday jumping because of the weather, because they didn't want to degrade the right. conditions of the hill. But I think we've made up for it with spectators this year because I mean it's amazing beautiful. it's on the other hand the hill is melting as we stand I here so it's going slow and yeah, slow. there's a, a, a little bit of urgency to finish the tournament yeah. to keep the hill with snow on it but uh, for the spectators I don't think they really realize all that and they're just getting you know they're enjoying it last year we froze out here but still a great event um, but this is for me I really enjoy this weather better <laughs> But yeah, this well I think that a lot of spectators have come that haven't been here before yeah. because they got up and it was incredible weather. Yeah. And some people came from yesterday, came back today because the weather was so great here. Beautiful. Well Sandy, thank you so yeah, much again for spending you. a little great time to with us. See you guys here again. Yeah, well, we Thanks love for doing coming it. back. And it, and it shows the people in the community can't get here what's going on and stuff. And it's it's great. And Joe's back with you. Ninety years. Yeah. Ninety years. Well, I got my well, we got the 80th year. year. So that's pretty cool. Take care, Sandy. Yeah, thank Thanks. You very much. Okay, we are standing with one of the competitors, and you are Annie Frenette. And Annie, where are you from? Saranac Lake, New York. And uh, is this your first time on our hill? This was the first time on this hill. What'd you think? It was a pretty fun hill. The conditions were pretty good, so that was fun. For as warm as it is. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> is this um, one of the bigger hills you've jumped? Uh, yeah, I've jumped a couple other of this size, but this is the biggest hill I've jumped. And you usually jump back home, Lake Placid area? Lake Placid, yep. Yeah. And you're 16, you said? 16. How long have you been doing this? Since I was nine, so seven years. Wow, and, and you think this is a good sport? You like it? Yeah, it's probably one of the most fun things I've ever, is the most fun thing I've ever done. Yeah, well, I couldn't imagine doing this, so I, I just can't imagine once my feet would leave, you know, with the skis, hopefully still attached that jump part and it's just got to be so intense and what made you decide to try and do that um well my brother had done it before me oh, so well, that's good 
I started because he started. Yep, so family thing then. Yep. Yep. Well, very good, and uh, I'm glad. What did you think of the area? It was fun. I've been here before as a spectator, but. Oh, when your brother jumped. Yeah. Uh huh. Very good. But it was good crowd, so that was good. Yep. Well, thanks for coming, and we appreciate what you do. All right. Thank you. You bet. All right. We are with. Andre Denny. Andre, where are you from, man? I'm from Coleraine, Minnesota. All right, beautiful place up there, I gotta tell you. If I wasn't living here, I might go over there. I mean, Minnesota's not bad. Hey, have you been to our hill before? Yeah, once, last year. Oh, did I get you last year? No, I don't think so. No? So what did you think of the hill? Now, last year was much colder, so you, and I think the hill was maybe faster. Yeah, it was a little faster. The uh, warm weather kind of slowed things down a little bit, but it was still in really nice shape. So when we got warm weather, here we are at a little area right here where you refurbish your skis, I guess. Uh, with warm weather, what, what would you be doing? I see a lot of different stuff here. What is it exactly that you'd be doing here? Yeah, you have to wax a little bit differently for the warm weather. You know, you put uh, diff different types of waxes to uh, make sure it's really slippery on the on the really wet, you know, damp snow. And w so, like, different brushes doing different things, taking it off. Are you taking off the old wax and then applying it with that, or? Yep. Yeah. The uh, you want to get all the old wax out that has all the all the dirt in it and everything, and uh, you use the brushes to buff in all the new wax, make sure it's nice and fast. So, is it, this is your ski. Yep. If you were going to run it, jump again, would it need to be done? Because I don't see anything on this thing. Yeah, um, usually you would, uh, I would probably go over it with uh, one of these, you know, nylon brushes and you, you really, you know, get into it, but um, just to buff it out and then maybe rub on some wax and make sure it's nice and buffed in. Yep. Just to touch it up, nothing major. So. Okay, my next question is, what do you think of Brattleboro, Vermont? Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful out here and, you know, the people are so great. Yeah, is this a pretty good crowd here? Oh, it's, it's great. You know, I, I don't get a crowd as good as this very often, so it's really nice to have the people around here. Beautiful. Thanks for taking time with us, man, and we hope to see you again next year. Yeah, thanks a lot. Talk to you for a second here on camera if you could. That was a pretty good jump you had there going. Uh, we're standing here with Mike Lasner. Is that Jason? Yep, that's correct. Last year's winner. Yep. Uh, what do you think about this year? A little slower this year. Uh, a little slower, a little warmer, but you know, it's it's I all love good. It this year, it's, it's nice for me. Yeah, it's perfect for the crowds. <laughs> how, how was that? How'd that uh, jump feel? You looked good up there. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't my best effort, but it'll have to do for today. And then, what'd you think of this year's event? Oh, uh, no, no snow. I mean, we did all right though. Yeah. The the hill crew and all the volunteers did awesome, so I'm really happy with it and couldn't be more thankful for all the work that they put in just to have the competition. So Yeah, well, good. I'm glad you put that out there because a lot of people did work hard for that, as I'm sure you're aware of. And where are you from, Mike? Uh, right outside of Chicago, Cary, Illinois. Beautiful. Well, thanks for coming. Good jumping, and uh, we'll see you again next year, hopefully. Thank you. Take care. Good job, Mike. If you don't mind stopping for just a second, and we are with Nick Alexander. And Nick, where are you, fr where are you from? Well, I've been in New Hampshire, but I was born in Brattleboro. Oh, hey, all right, man, a, a hometown kid. Yeah. Hey, listen, how'd that jump feel? You look like you did um, great. You know, it was okay, but I got held until the very last second. Usually the jury doesn't do that, so I'm kind of a little upset about that, but you know, whatever. I mean, it happens. What does that mean? Uh, they have a time clock um, where they hold uh, you on yellow for 45 seconds. Oh, so they held me for 44 and then turned it green. So, oh, okay. but you know, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't well, matter. It looked so. good for us. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. For yeah, no problem. No problem. Had a blast. Hey, Wait. Yep. How uh, did we are with Chris? With? Chris Lamb, USA Ski Jumping Team. And where are you from, Chris? I'm from Andover, New Hampshire. Yeah. Excellent. You've been here a few times now. I recognize the name. Yep. Yep. How was it this year for you? Uh, that's as as always. It was a great experience coming to Brattleboro. They do a great job getting the hill prepared, and uh, despite this year the weather was a little bit warm, but uh, you know, despite the warm weather, they, they did a great job having the hill, keeping the hill in great shape. So, well, I tell you what, it's a pleasure having you here. You always give the crowd a good uh, good show. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Johnson. Thank you very very much for the opportunity. Weekend for you this year. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is yeah perfect weekend. Um, weather was awesome, and yeah, couldn't ask for a better crowd. So I'm excited. You uh, okay with the conditions here? Yeah, no, the conditions. You know, for how warm this weather's been here in lack of snow, they, you know, huge, you know, congrats to the hill crew and all the volunteers because it's 
impressive that they even got the hill and ready and they did a good job at it. So definitely good 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 work for them. And why do you uh, feel you, you jump so well th this weekend? Because there are a few people having problems with the end run. Um, you know, it's hard to explain. Like, it's, I guess it's like with any sport when you're feeling in the groove. It you know, it's it's just easier. It's um, you know, you're not trying to really work hard at making changes in competition, especially when the in runs a little slow because of the warm weather and everything. It's just it's yeah, it's just a little bit easier when you're jumping well to have good jumps to, no matter the conditions. So I understand this is your first time in Brattleboro. Hopefully you'll be back. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to come back. I mean, I had a great time this weekend. The weather was awesome. I mean, it's it's February, but it feels like it's April. So it's. Uh, it's nice, you know, get a, you know, do a little jumping for a fun crowd and get a tan afterwards. It's not bad. Perfect. Yep. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. All right. Well, that ends it for another year of uh, the Harris Hill Fred Harris Memorial Ski Jump right here in Brattleboro, Vermont. Uh, people are leaving now. It was a great day, great event. I hope everybody had a good time. The crowd, as you can see, wasn't too bad. Um, I, again, I cannot say it enough to the people who had something to do with this hill. Uh, all the volunteers, thank you very much for making this happen. Um, it's It's been quite a job. I think it was a great success. The people we talked to had a great time. I mean, it was just unbelievable. A little bit of mud, but they did a good job with everything, making sure that uh, you didn't have to go through four feet of mud. We even got a guy in a motorcycle that came, for crying out loud. So that shows you how nice it is. A guy over there on a mountain bike. I mean, it's been it's been a heck of a year so all of you volunteers thanks you so much and you people sitting at home watching I uh, hope next year you can come out and enjoy a great Brattleboro event right here um, the Harris Hill is really something special in my opinion and um, so BCTV we want to thank you for letting us do this and the Pulse of Brattleboro you can catch us uh, just come to our Get a hold of us at PulseofBrattleboro at Yahoo.com. PulseofBrattleboro at Yahoo.com. Send Joe something. Say hi. You like the show, whatever. He likes to know you're out there watching. So, Joe, say thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yep, Joe says thanks, man. We're done. We'll see you next year right here, Brattleboro, Vermont, Harris Hill. And look for some more of our Pulse shows. We'll see you. beautiful trophy that she created to our champion, Andrew Jackson, today. Everybody, put your hands yeah. together.